Hey guys, Stu from Artistic Creations. I want to take you through a quick tutorial now on a portrait and how I make templates out of printouts off the computer. First of all, what I do is print out several copies of the actual artwork. Some I use for reference and some of them I use to cut out. First of all, what I do is cut around the face area, okay? And then I cut some small holes around the side of it and I use that to actually fix masking tape through them holes to the surface of the job. After I have enough points that I'm satisfied I can fix it to the surface, I stick it to the surface, position it in place and then what I've done now is put some white base coat in the airbrush and lightly dusted a light coat over the whole surface. I don't want to saturate the thing to 100% opacity. What I'm trying to do is get around 50-70% opacity because you can always come back and add more highlights. Okay, then what I've done is cut out the neck area and place the t-shirt and the face back into position. Then what I do is paint on the masking along the bottom of the jaw and along the shirt creating the shadow on the bottom of the jawline and also onto the neck. Now I remove the t-shirt and now I paint from on the masking and paint a lifting dot into the center of the t-shirt creating the collar and also the shadows in the t-shirt. Next what I've done is cut out the hair, the eyebrows, the top lip and the pupils. Okay, then what I've done is started to paint the hair in following my reference and putting the strokes in. For the eyebrows, pu pupils and the lip is just very lightly dusting a light coat of paint over them because what we're going to do is come back through and freehand those and add the detail by freehand so it doesn't look all stenciled. Okay, now I cut out the nose, the irises and the bottom lip. What I do is follow my reference and paint around the edge of the nose, um, casting the shadow on the nose. The same with the lip and also the irises. Always painting on my masking, letting the overspray do the work for me. Okay, now some freehanding. What I do is remove the face and start freehanding around the cheeks, from the chin up to the ear, through the ear, from the eyebrow down into his nose, starting to soften up all those hard lines left by the masking. And just keep working them slowly, again, around the hairline, in the forehead. It's always better to add a little paint at a time rather than go overboard, because it's easier to add the paint than take it away. Okay, as you can see, I've removed the masking around the side of his head. Now what I'm going to do is start to put some of the shadowing from under his face and also in his jacket. Then what I do is bring some of the white back and start adding the highlights, such as the highlights of the zipper on his jacket. What I'm attempting to do with some of the highlights is actually blend it back into the guitar, the, the actual picture. Um, now I've just added a bit more of darkened some of those shadows up in his face just to get a, get them in proportion with the rest of the picture. Now it's time to paint the eyes. What I've done is cut the eyes out of another photocopy and then stuck them into place. Okay, how I stick them into place is just usually with a little bit of water and stick them on. Okay, then I've painted off the sides and around the edges of the eyes. Again, painting on the masking, letting that overspray do the work for me. Now I remove the paper and paint the shadow under the eyelid itself. Okay, just about done. Now all I need to do is add some smoke for the cigarette. And it's all done. I'm ready to clear the job. Again, this was a quick tutorial and also a quick painting. The whole thing took me around 40 minutes. Um, you can rework it and rework it and put a lot more detail in it. So guys, take it away, have some fun with it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you later.